Okay, look, so Photoshop's color range function is super useful, obviously, right? You can click around, find a range, change the fuzziness, and then hit OK and create a selection. Super powerful, uh, but it's kind of its own third party window. And it's kind of neat, don't get me wrong. But what if you could do that on the layers window and with extra functions? Well, check it out. This is why we have NBP Precision SM Pro action. So let's go ahead and run it. This is the NBP Hue Range Selection Builder. It's just going to create a layer stack that we have full videos about to help you kind of learn how it works and not be intimidated. So we have this cool layer stack. We're no longer in a third party window. We're right on the layers. We have a simple folder that we can close or open or delete when we're done. We're just trying to create a selection, right? Now, check this out. So if we go down to our Hue Range Selector and we use our hue and saturation adjustment layer, we can do the same thing. So let's say I click on one of the sort of color ranges that I want to target. So I'm going to click on the reds, hit the eyedropper and really get a red area. How about this sandy area right there? Cool. Now I take my lightness slider and I peg it up. See that? I can see that range. What's that range that I'm looking at? Right here on hue and saturation. You can see it's exactly the range that's by default kind of stemming from the eyedropper selection. Now, what's interesting is that I have these visualizers, so I can turn off the background grayscale version of it and see just the selection, including the actual colors of the selection. Turn on the grayscale if I want it again. I can turn off both and look at just my selection, which is a little more like Photoshop's color range function, but it's all here and I can do it whenever I want. I can actively change the, the selection. So let's say I go to the hue range here and I move this area, right? I don't have to worry about fuzziness. I can just move this range to the exact colors I want. Let's say I move it over here closer to the greens and shift it over. There we go, cool. On top of that, I can use levels and many other tools if I wanted to, to increase the intensity of that selection. Now, what do I do when I want the selection? Well, in the same set of actions, we have a make selection button, hit that, selection is made and then delete the whole layer stack because the entire layer stack doesn't have to all be used. It's just there to help us look at the exact selection that we want. We delete it and now we have a selection that we can do anything with, including running any adjustment layer, like for example, curves. Curves is pretty cool. So now we can brighten and darken our greens that we happen to select. So think of Precision SM Pro like Photoshop's color range selection, but more active on your layers window and with a lot more options. Check out the full video to see how it works because to be honest, it's kind of mind blowing.